You ever found yourself walking down the aisle of your local grocery store and then you get stopped in your tracks by something like this? Ah! Not actually some poor guy who has managed to get himself pinned underneath the very heavy rack of the medicine aisle. No, this is a sort of cool, original looking advertisement placed on the floor. It is an ad placed in this case by a painkiller. It's designed to catch your eye and make you want to buy their product. No matter where it hurts, this painkiller thingy targets your pain. Okay, look up, look up. Now buy that particular painkiller right there in the aisle. These are called floor ads for obvious reasons. Floor ads are big business across this country because, come on, if you're a company who sells stuff in supermarkets, wouldn't you want a big shiny floor ad featuring your product on the floor like this one? A few years ago, one of the biggest floor ad companies in the entire country, a company called Floor Graphics, mysteriously started losing some of its top clients. Floor Graphics was not using, losing its clients because people didn't want floor ads anymore. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want floor ads? Uh, they started losing their clients because a rival company in the industry was starting to steal their clients. Floor Graphics was just this small firm based in New Jersey, but a really big player had entered the floor ad arena. A big player with an even bigger corporate parent, a company you may have heard of called News Corp decided that it wanted to get into the floor ad game. News Corp had a U.S.-based company called News America Marketing that was already involved in the supermarket advertising business, but it really wanted in on those awesome floor ads. The only problem for the big Rupert Murdoch-owned News America was that this small New Jersey company, Floor Graphics, was dominating this market. You say problem, News Corp says opportunity. News Corp set its sights on taking this little New Jersey company down and they had just the right type of guy to do it. The head of News America at the time was a man named Paul Carlucci. According to a Fortune magazine profile, quote, Carlucci once tried to motivate his sales force by playing a scene from the film The Untouchables in which Al Capone crushes a rival's skull with a baseball bat. Who better to take down this puny little New Jersey floor graphics company than the baseball bat crusher guy? Rupert Murdoch's News America began to play hardball with Floor Graphics, so much so that in 2006, Floor Graphics finally had enough. They filed an unfair business practices lawsuit against News America. Floor Graphics said News America has engaged in illegal computer espionage by breaking into our password protected computer system and obtaining proprietary information. Computer espionage, hacking. Where have I heard this before? Uh, this complaint, filed in New Jersey federal court in 2006, accuses Rupert Murdoch's American supermarket services company of repeatedly and systematically hacking into their computer database. On at least 11 separate occasions, News America intentionally, knowingly, and without authorization breached our secure computer system and repeatedly accessed, viewed, took, and obtained our most sensitive and private information. How did they know that it was News Corp that was responsible? Quote, our investigation traced the unauthorized access to a computer with an IP address registered at the time to News America. So, was Rupert Murdoch's News Corp guilty of hacking into a competitor's computer system and then stealing all of their sensitive material? Dunno. After just a few days of testimony in the trial, News Corp settled the case out of court, reportedly for about 29 million bucks. Shortly after settling, News Corp then bought the company that had just accused it of hacking. Little fish meet big fish, chomp. Oh, hello there, Mr. Floor Ad Guy. Spare a Motrin for Mr. Murdoch? As David Carr, the excellent media reporter for the New York Times, wrote today, the way that News Corp cleaned up this alleged U.S. hacking scandal, U.S. hacking scandal with the Floor Ad Company, essentially paying large sums of money to sweep the whole thing under the rug, that has sort of been the way they've been operating here in the U.S. for a while now. Mr. Carr reporting that News Corporation has paid out about $655 million to make embarrassing charges of corporate espionage and anti-competitive behavior go away. Amazing what money can do. And if you are wondering, as you should be, whatever happened to that News Corp executive who motivated his staff by playing the Al Capone skull crushing with a baseball bat movie scene? Whatever happened to good old skull crushing Paul Carlucci? Uh, he got promoted. He's now publisher of Rupert Murdoch's own New York Post. Ta-da!